friends, welcome back to Cosmopolitan Cornbread. So the other day I shared uh, where I was going through and reorganizing my deep freezer. Deep freezers have always been very frustrating to me for the reason that they are really hard to organize. And so I came up with an idea and I know I wasn't the first person to come up with this idea, but I went to the store, I picked up some baskets, specifically I used milk crates, the, the big plastic uh, tote kind of things. And I went through my freezer, I discarded any kind of old freezer burnt foods that were buried down in there and I used those totes to organize everything that is in my freezer. Now, the freezer does come with a couple of hanging baskets that slide across the top, but that's not enough to organize everything in there. And so I'm utilizing the milk crates to keep everything organized. I have one crate that is filled with chicken. I have one crate that is filled with ground beef and things like that. I have one that's filled with whole chickens. And I've basically just kind of used these containers to organize everything that is in there. Uh, one of the milk crates sits on top of the others. I can easily lift out that whole crate, get to the stuff that's underneath, but everything is organized. However, how do you know what all is in your freezer? Well, this trick is something that I've been doing for several years. I just found this to be the best way to keep track of everything in my freezer. That is a whiteboard. So before we moved here to Arkansas, I had one of these whiteboards and it hung on the wall over my deep freezer there at the homestead in Alabama. However, in the move, my other whiteboard somehow went missing. So the other day I went and I picked up another one. You know, nothing fancy, just a little whiteboard here. And I used my label maker to go through and make labels for the things that I have in my freezer most often. So as you can see here, I sort of categorized it. I had beef things right here, um, chicken, turkey, breakfast types of meats, uh, and then I have the veggies and fruits and things like that. And then I go through and I count everything and I use the little hash marks to keep track of the number of the items that I have. Then as I use one, I just take my little eraser or my finger and I would remove one of the marks. When I go grocery shopping, I add everything that's in here. Essentially, what it boils down to is if I open this freezer and something goes in or out, I mark the change on this board immediately. Now, now at our Alabama homestead, I had this whiteboard hanging over the freezer on the wall. But at that house, our freezer was uh, in the flex room. I think technically it was considered a formal dining room, but we used it as an office and for the freezer. But here at our Arkansas homestead, because uh, our house is actually quite a bit smaller than our last one, um, but I'll talk about that a different day. We have our freezer out here in our workshop. And because it isn't readily available for me to look in, I'm actually going to hang this on my pantry wall instead of out here. Because of course, I don't do my meal planning in the workshop, I do my meal planning in the house. So when I'm in my pantry and I'm looking through all of the, the food items that I have in there, when I'm planning meals, when I'm planning my grocery shopping, I wanna be able to glance at my list right here and know exactly what I need to get what I'm getting low on, what I've got plenty of, so that as I'm planning out meals and working on my grocery list slash menu, um, I know what I've got readily at a glance instead of having to look at the pantry and then come out here to the workshop and look for things um, out here as well. So I've already gone through the freezer in the kitchen and so now I'm gonna go through this deep freeze and I'm going to inventory everything that I have. And Nevzy, you're gonna to have to move, buddy. You're gonna to have to move, buddy. I gotta open this freezer. Come on.
Alright, so looking at my list, you can see I have a ton of ground beef. So that is one of the reasons that I am going to be canning up some more of my Sloppy Joe mix. I need to put some of the 20... Nubsy! I need to put some of the 25 pounds of ground beef to use. So going through this list, it gives me an idea of course what I have in here. So then I can plan out my meals. What do I have a lot of? What do I not have a lot of? And like I mentioned in a previous video, we're gonna be getting half a cow in a few weeks. And so I wanna start using up some of this stuff that's in here in the freezer to make room for that. And by having the inventory of everything in my freezer, it'll help me with my meal planning and I can work on reducing what's out here in this freezer. I've got a whole turkey down there. This basket here is full of burgers, some bratwurst, hot dogs, things like that. Basket down here is completely filled with whole chickens. There's a lot of whole chickens down there. So I need to start making some chicken recipes, make some broth, things like that. So to just kind of continue this thought about knowing what you have in your freezer or your pantry, I want to just briefly mention over on my website, cosmopolitancornbread.com, I have a free printable that you can download and use for planning out your grocery lists and your menu. This is something that I have been doing for, gosh, as long as I've had a computer, really, which has been a very long time. I had gone through and I had made a custom grocery list. I had sections for the different categories of the grocery store and I went ahead and I filled in the things that I purchased all the time. Now, over the years, my list of things would change. Uh, for instance, I don't buy diapers or things like that anymore. And so every so often I would go through and I would change out the pre-filled items. For each section, I would have the things that I would buy all the time, and then I would have spaces where I could write in things that I would need from that category. Uh, being an army family for so long, we would move, and every so often, the grocery store that I shopped at would have items in a different order. And so I would actually make my grocery list in the order of the aisles as I walked through. So as I was going down my list, I was in that aisle and I wouldn't have to backtrack and find different things or anything like that. I was, I was very much about it being um, as efficient as possible, especially when I was grocery shopping with little kids in tow. You didn't wanna to have to spend any more time in the store than you needed to. But one of the things that I always included with my custom grocery list that I made was a section for menu planning. Nowadays, I don't have a pre-filled list. I have a universal grocery list that anybody can use. Save it to your computer, print it out. And I'm just gonna show you that here. So on my printable grocery list, I have different categories. I have produce, dry or canned goods, condiments, meats, baking supplies, cold or frozen, then I've got cleaning supplies, hygiene items, and then down in the corner I have a little box 
and in this box is the menu. So what I always did is I would sit down, I would go through all of the things that I had in the house, my pantry, my freezer, and all of that, and I would work out a menu. And back when we were an active duty army family, we got paid twice a month, and I would go grocery shopping two times a month, once each payday. And so my list would have enough meals to last from one payday to the next payday. And I would just make a list of meals that I was going to get all of the ingredients for, utilizing what I already had in the house, and then I would make my list according to that menu. Now, the menu wasn't in order. Now, I didn't have to do, okay, day one we're having this, day two we're having this, day three we're having this. I didn't do it that way, it was just a list. And after I did my grocery shopping, I would cut this little box out, I would stick it on my refrigerator with a magnet, and in the evenings I would look at the list and say, okay, tomorrow let's have this thing. I would get out whatever I needed from the freezer to thaw out, and then the next day I would make that meal. And I liked the flexibility of just having a list of meals because that way if, say, the next day was gonna be really busy, I was gonna pick one of the slow cooker meals. Or if I had plenty of time that day, I might pick something that took a little bit longer, like homemade lasagna. But doing my meal planning, my menu planning like this, by having a list and then making my grocery list according to that menu, I was able to make sure that I had all of the ingredients that I needed for all of these meals. There were no running to the grocery store because I forgot the oregano or I forgot the, the cream cheese or you know whatever the ingredient might be. I would make my list of meals. I would make my grocery list according to all of the ingredients, all of the things that I would need for those meals. And then I knew when I came home from the grocery store I had everything that I needed. So I hope you find these tips helpful. If you would like to get this free printable, you can get it on my website, cosmopolitancornbread.com, and I will put a link in the video description that'll take you straight to this page. So that is it for today. Thanks for joining me here again in the Homestead Kitchen. My name is Constance from Cosmopolitan Cornbread, and I will talk to y'all next time.